Hello, uh, my name is Nick John Rees. I'm a marine artist and uh, I thought it'd be rather nice to share some of the paintings that will be in my exhibition uh, commencing on the 14th of July. This particular painting is of Abbasoch in uh, North Wales. Um, what I particularly like with this painting is the hidden horizon in the uh, mist. There's something wonderful as well about the sense of grandeur, I think, with uh, sailing boats, uh, the shape um, and the feel of speed, even when they're stationary. There's a, there's a lot of uh, depth and perspective created through the detail in the rocks in the foreground, leading your eye back to the horizon. I can introduce now my wife, Ollie, who's uh, going to help making the uh, video. Uh, she's now put up uh, a painting of Llangrannog, which you may recognise from the iconic rock uh, in the background. What I love with this particular painting is not only the light uh, on the horizon there, but the way it reflects off the white sand here. And then the detail in the weed and the mooring buoy on the drier sand creates a nice little tease leading your eye backwards into the painting. Now, this particular painting is obviously quite different to the others that I've shown you so far. This is of Sully, where I uh, live, Sully Island, in the background. And the uh, moon really, I feel, dazzles you as, look, uh, as you look at it. And I feel as I'm doing the paintings of this type, when I see the moon dazzle me, I feel I've probably got it right. This one is obviously on three canvases, uh, but it works so well when you look at the lines all joining up as the painting is seen from one side uh, or the other. Now I did think I'd put this particular painting into the exhibition just to prove that although I principally paint seascapes, I can do the odd landscape as well. Those of you in the area of Brecon will recognise it, I hope, as being one of the waterfalls you see just as you go over the top of Story Arms. Somewhere very special to me because I was born and brought up in Llanbilid Wells uh, and it's somewhere I've been passing for the last, I won't tell you how many years, but they're very many years. This one, though, is interesting by virtue of the fact that it's on a slightly different frame and allows you to see the edge of the deep canvases. 95% of the paintings that I do are all on deep canvases and I like that because it allows me to paint around the edge of the canvas and create uh, a greater sense of depth and perspective when you look at the paintings, particularly from the side. Now, this is completely different on five separate canvases, but they're held together with polished aluminium bands. They can be removed and the paintings positioned on the wall wherever you particularly would like them. The rocks on this painting and on many of the paintings I do are anything up to a centimetre or even uh, a centimetre and a half thick, the paint. Um, but uh, the detail in the weed here teases your eye back to this wonderful large sailing boat uh, moored up uh, close to the beach. This one again you can see from seeing the painting on the side, when you look at it from the side, uh, it uh, creates uh, a wonderful image as all the lines join up. This next painting uh, is uh, in Brittany. I spread myself around as far as I can possibly go. Uh, it's a place called Lochilec, uh, and I think this is wonderful from the point of view of the uh, uh, depth in the painting created by these very thick and textured rocks uh, and the warning um, post uh, leading you back to the buildings on the harbour wall. Um, very nice place. It's where they um, process huge amounts of um, shellfish uh, in that particular area, something else very close to my heart. Uh, this painting now um, is of uh, Constantine Bay in Cornwall. Uh, I painted it recently on a two-week trip in the area 
Uh, and again, there's a wonderful sense of perspective from the detail in the rocks and weed uh, in the foreground and the mooring buoy, uh, leading you back to the uh, headland uh, along the horizon. This one again, as you can see, because it's framed in this way, you can see all the uh, detail of the painting going around the edges of the canvas. Uh, this one now is obviously much, much smaller, and maybe I'll bring this one closer to the uh, camera for you to be able to see. This is a Thanduin Island uh, up uh, on Anglesey, and you'll see here the uh, island with a little lighthouse uh, on it, and you get the most wonderful sunsets and moonlight scenes uh, there. And it was where uh, the patron saints of Welsh uh, lovers, St Dunwen, uh, had her hermitage. Uh, I tend to do paintings in as many different sizes and in different shapes of canvas as I possibly can. Uh, so we're back to uh, uh, a portrait uh, um, uh, image. Um, this particular place is Freshwater East in uh, Pembrokeshire, a wonderful spot. Um, and uh, over on the right hand side, as you look out to sea, you get um, some wonderful rocks and the fishing boats tend to, for whatever reason, uh, moor up. I presume it's because their moorings are in the lee of the uh, prevailing winds. Um, but again, the light is so important in that and uh, it generates a warmth uh, in the room when it's on the wall. This is just a very small selection of the paintings that will be in the exhibition, uh, but I'm sure uh, this will have whetted your appetite and I very much look forward to hopefully meeting you at the gallery at some point, as I will be doing a painting demonstration there uh, on at least one occasion. Thank you.